Hey there, don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell button so you'll be notified every time that I post. See you! Hello guys, hello guys, uh, welcome to the channel. So, uh, I just want to tell you that I'll try to upload one video every single day. Um, at least until this, our first project is over. Then I'll find a schedule to schedule all our videos. But every day, expect at least expect a, a, at least a single video from this channel. Uh, well, uh, today's goal is to uh, the first step on our application is to do this. The first page UI, putting this photo. I will link this in the description. This text field and this button like this. So this is the goal for today. And I repeat that uh, I assume that you already know Flutter and you already know Dart for this tutorial. So I'm not going to teach you what is Dart and I will explain some widgets when I use them, but I'll not going, I'm not going to give you the basic. If you want to get the basic of Dart, you can just go to my Dart videos. I have them. Or if you want some basic videos of Flutter, just tell me in the comments section and we can, uh, and I can do a specific playlist for very basic Flutter. Okay, now coming to the video. Today we are trying to do this. This is our goal. If the time allows, we will finish. If not, we will finish on the next one. I don't want to do very long videos. Okay, enough for the talking. Uh, let's go file, new project. I'm using IntelliJ. You can use Visual Studio Code, but I really think IntelliJ is the best thing for me at least. I'll name this project. Um, YouTube tutorial underscore for Tobey and the rest I'll leave like that. Finish. Uh, yes, we'll use this window. This can take some seconds, so let's just wait. I'll pause the video and come back when it's done. Uh, so guys, uh, we're back with all the processing done. I didn't want to let you wait and see that. So okay, this is the base thing you get when you create a project, right? Let's just delete this because we're going to start from scratch. You're going to get this error, but don't worry. To solve this problem, just open this, come to tag, test, and erase this also. Delete. If you're using Visual Studio, you can create the projects the way you create, no problem. It's, it's going to work too. So the first thing we're going to do, as always, we're going to import the Flutter package. Um, Flutter material, right? Okay, we we'll start the main function. Okay, we do run app, erase here. And uh, inside of the run app, we are going to create a new material app widget. Okay, and inside of this, we're going to create home. And for the home, we're going to use a stateless class called first page. This will be the first page of our application. Okay, to solve this error, just come and create, write STL as a shortcut. You already have the stateless class uh, structure. Then you write uh, first page. And now the error is gone, right? Okay, uh, what are we going to do now? Here, instead of returning a container, we're going to return a scaffold. Right, and for this scaffold, we're going to give a bar, then we create another up bar, and here we are going to provide the title as um, text, and here we'll write photo bay. We are going to do center title true and i guess it's all let's try to run this and see what happens
This is going to take a couple seconds, so I can pause the video and come back when the processing is done. Uh, so guys, uh, the processing is done. Uh, only took a couple seconds, but I don't want to let you wait and see this processing. Uh, now, I want to remove this banner testing mode and stuff. Uh, if you want to do that, you can come here and write the bug. Show check mode banner and hit false. Mm, let me close this. The bug show check mode banner false. You save and you run this. I don't know why sometimes my hard reload doesn't work. So I just restart the whole application even for small modifications like this. But okay. No problem. Here we have photo bay. But as you've seen on our first page, we don't have nothing of this written. All of this is white. So we want to repeat the same thing. Here I can write, you know, instead of changing the color, I wanted to change the color of this application bar to white. I can just remove this and just start with body. I'm going to give new material and the new you you can give like it's optional if you want I can remove this nothing is going to happen it will work I'll give this color colors dot white right okay uh and now uh, what else what else let's create a child center widget uh yes we can work with the center widget and inside of this center widget let's create uh, we can create a padding no let's create a list view first so sorry we'll give this a child of list view we have list view here right inside of this list view we'll create children widgets so what well, what do we want here we want to create padding and this padding will be equal to padding then you give const then we'll give edge insets all and here we'll give uh, around uh, Let's try to give this 30. Here we're just giving the padding uh, between the image. We're going to put the photo bay logo and the top of the screen. That's why we're giving this padding, right? Okay, now let's insert the image. In, if you want to insert the image first, you have to create a folder. So right click on the project. Let's create a new directory. We'll create a folder called images. You can give any name you want, but it's simple when you give image images uh, because it'd be simple for you to remember. I can um, open this. I have my image here. I'll give you the link in the description. Right click and copy the image go come back here and just paste it here okay so this was done now what's the next step open the pipe stack file here and let's try to go to okay we're here assets hyphen images 
is the name of the folder. Here you're just giving the path to find that file. And the name of the file is photobay.png. Let's try to, sometimes you can get some errors out of this for no reason, I don't know why. Let's see it now. If it's going to work properly. When this is done, you have to hit on package upgrade, right? Okay, let's see, let's see. I don't really like to wait and see these things processing, so I'll pause the video just. And we are back. I'm sorry guys, my, video ha my videos have a lot of pausing just because I don't want to wait and see these things processing and stuff. But if you get this process finished, code zero means everything worked perfectly and you're good to go. Sometimes you can have some errors here. When you have the error, try to remove this and upload the package again. Okay, now we're here. Now we want to insert the image. How are we going to do that? Well, um, okay, I just have this notification. Okay, upgrade dependencies. If you get this notification, just click on upgrade dependencies. Here, if you want to use that local image, you can just write new image. Uh, we want image dot asset because we're using image from our assets, and then you give the path to that image, and the image is located on images folder slash photo bay dot png and after this i want to give some i want to provide some width let's give this 200 and let's provide some height for image of 202 now let's run the application and see what's happening Um, restart you can use hard reload if hard reload works fine for you it just for whatever reason it doesn't work for me now so i have to restart the application all over okay you see our first task is accomplished we have our image here Mm, and guys, uh, well, this video is already long enough. I don't want to make 20 minutes videos and stuff. So this will be the part one. For the second part, we'll insert the text field area and the button here. I just don't want to make videos way too long for you guys, right? Okay, see you on the next one.